Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsic from Razor Emporium. One of the most common questions we get has to do with razor size. Now I know everyone out there likes to have a big razor. In fact, I think using the modern cartridge handles has kind of trained us that razor handles are supposed to be big as opposed to small and stubby like most of them seem. But I wanted to make a video quickly illustrating some of the biggest razors Gillette ever put out. So a lot of us are familiar with the more modern Gillette razors from the 50s and 60s, like the Gillette Fat Boy, as it's called, the $1.95 adjustable, the Slim adjustable razor, and even the Lady Gillette from the 60s. These are all really big razors. They really are. If we start measuring some of them, your standard Fat Boy from the top of its head down, something right around three and a half inches. The actual handle itself is only right around three inches. Compared to today's modern, uh, most popular selling razor, the 34C from uh, Mercure, this is only uh, right around the same size. It's right around three inches as well. So these razors actually have very similar sized handles. I'm sure that Mercure probably didn't mind borrowing some of its design from Gillette. Um, in comparison, the slim adjustable razor, this was named because the handle was slimmer, and I think that uh, its handle here measures three and uh, roughly three and a quarter, three and an eighth, yeah, about three and an eighth, so just a little bit longer. It uh, was called a slim because not only was its handle slimmer, but its head itself is actually a bit more um, slimmer, a little bit more uh, flat, not as pitched up like the Fat Boy one is. And it's funny, today's shavers, I always say, as it's called, because this is really called just a $1.95 adjustable from Gillette, but today's shavers have kind of nicknamed it the Fat Boy, I think in relation to the Slim. The Lady Gillette does take the prize for the longest handle that Gillette ever put out, and that is a length of right around four and an eighth, so almost a full inch longer. Gillette finally got smart in the 60s and made a, a razor for the women that had a long handle to reach, you know, maybe the bottom of their ankle or so when they're shaving their legs. But in terms of some of the other real big ones that not a lot of people are com you know, more familiar with, not as common of razors, something like the toggle. You know, we've seen these. A lot of people think this is a part of the handle. I actually had a customer in my store a few weeks ago that thought this was part of the handle that you held. Well, it's just called a toggle because it's a quick releasing method that opens that razor door really fast. But if you include the toggle itself, the overall handle length on this guy is something like three and a half. So a bit longer than even the, the Fat Boy adjustable. If we hold them up neck to neck here, you can see that, a bit longer there. And another razor I really want to talk to you guys about are some of these really old examples of some of the big razors. We have here uh, all three versions of the Gillette Big Fellow. Uh, it came out first with the old type head See, it has a curved uh, bottom plate. That means it's an old type style razor, just like the double ring or single ring. And the overall handle length on the big fellow was three and three quarters. So, so literally, I mean, this is a big guy. It's almost the same handle length as a Lady Gillette here. So for guys asking, what's the biggest Gillette razor I can get? You know, I'd go even older than the Fat Boy. Go back in time to right around 1917, 1918. And the big fellow came out. And this has the original patina on the silver. I haven't polished it. I like that to be left intact if it's a collectible. Later it came out with the new improved head. So if you like the new improved head better, like something on the Bostonian or the Richwood you would see, they had in that version too. It was put up in this really handsome uh, gum wood box here. And um, this is kind of a, a, a hallmark for Gillette that they went to this big style of razor. Guys, even back then, a hundred years ago, were talking about the fact that the handles for the single rings and such were just too small. And so Gillette responded with the big fellow. And then later, in the 30s, uh, Gillette put out what was called the big boy. So that's this razor here, and it's basically just a, a modern version of the big fellow. And this has the new style head which is all flat on the bottom. This is something that you'd find on the new Razor, the new Deluxe, the new Criterion, stuff like that. And the handle's actually really cool. It has this long tapered handle with a little small taper at the end. And this is a very collectible Razor. I have one both in, uh, in gold here and in the uh, chrome. 
Another answer, or sorry, another piece of trivia for you is this is one of the only razors Gillette ever put out to have a chrome finish. A lot of people think that uh, the Fat Boy or the Super Speeds or whatever have chrome. Absolutely not. This is the only razor series, the new, that featured chromium finish. And the handle length on this guy, this big boy, as it's called, is three and just a little bit over three and a half. So maybe three and nine sixteenths or so. Just a, just a hair longer. And it's about the same as this guy. So almost equivalent as the big fellow. But I think what may have happened with the naming of uh, today's fat boy, I think that uh, this name itself, the big boy name, actually leaked into uh, naming convention and people kind of called that the fat boy in relation, maybe. But these are really, really cool guys here, uh, just how big and, and manly and you know, heavily knurled their handle is. Um, and lastly, you know, one of the rare razors out there a lot of people are looking for online is the bottom dial itself. And the bottom dial only measures, let's see here, about three and an eight. So it's about the same handle length as uh, a production uh, $1.95 adjustable here. Just about the same length. And this was a popular razor simply because the dial was put on the bottom before it went up to the top. Um, as popular as it is in terms of collectability and people bidding crazy monies for them on eBay and such, the mechanism on this razor is nowhere near as uh, sophisticated and as, as beautiful and as simple as this. I see more problems with these razors and even the toggle razors. Their mechanism was just flawed from the beginning and uh, for adjustability. And uh, these, these early methods have nothing on the, the Gillette uh, Fat Boy and the Slim razor as they were produced. They're much more uh, uh, prone to be able to be used long term and not break down over time or have any mechanical issues. So I would tell you that you know, steer towards some of these, these other guys if you're looking for a, a big handle. Maybe pick out something from the 30s or from the 20s or even from the 10s. And these should provide great shaves. So if you're looking for what the biggest Gillette razor is, we got them right here on the table. These are the biggest razors Gillette ever put out. And with today's shaver, I know that sometimes heft is important. So here's a little more information for you if you're looking for a big razor from Gillette. Thanks so much, guys, for watching, and we'll check you next time on our YouTube channel with more education and more videos.